what we can't have The commodity makes us want it So expensive, damn I just got to flaunt it, got to show them So exclusive, this, that new shit A hundred dollars for a pair of shoes I would never hoop it Look at me, look at me I'm a cool kid, I'm an individual Yeah, but I'm part of a movement My movement told me be a consumer And I consumed it They told me to just do it I listened to what that swoosh said Look at what that swoosh did See it consume my thoughts are you stupid? Don't crease them, just leave them in that box Strangled by these laces, laces, I can barely talk That's my air bubble and I'm lost If it pops, we are what we wear, we wear what we are But see, I look inside the mirror and think Phil Knight tricked us all Will I stand for change or stay in my box? These Nikes help me to find me, but I'm trying to take mine Yes, 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 what's going on everyone? It's your boy Tarek back again with another video. I know it's been a while since I've last uploaded what going on six weeks. Um, long story short, I still have been training and playing football, but I just have not had access to a laptop because I share a laptop with my sister. Um, because she got a MacBook and it's easier to use iMovie to edit. And yeah, she's been doing a master, so I can't really just take the laptop off her if I want to. But you know, it should be okay going forward now. Um, but yeah, hope everyone's good. Um, hope you enjoyed the video so far. If you're new, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button as well. If you enjoyed the video so far, it means a lot. Now I'm nearly on 100 subscribers. This is that four way, five way. Come on, that's five subscribers. 150 subscribers, that's the aim. So there's a couple of things I wanted to touch on for like this video. Of course, you know, the world's going through tough times right now. I hope everyone's safe. Us footballers, people that play football and, you know, professional, trying to make it professional, semi-pro. You know, it's a tough time for all of us. Um, I think most semi-pro, every semi-pro league has been suspended, I'm pretty sure. They've cancelled the league. Just going to, you know, start the next season, next year. I mean, the summer. And yeah, so it's just a tough time. And obviously, you know, the main point I wanted to get out of all of this is that um, for someone like me, I am nowhere near, you know, where I wanted to be for like, for example, pre-season or where I want to be at the end of the day. So um, we should be using this time for if you're like in the same boat as me, we should be using this time to get ahead of everyone. We shouldn't be trying to maintain our current levels. For example, as professionals are doing now, they're sort of limited to their everyday routine. So they're just trying to maintain their, you know, their current fitness levels, trying not to dip too low, trying to stay in shape. But for example, someone like me, I'm trying to get to that stage. I need to be working harder than everyone else. And same as you, if we're trying to reach similar, similar heights. And you might not want to play professional. You might just want to improve and take your game to the next level. But um, you know, the same thing. If you're trying to, if there's a bigger picture, you need to sort of use this time to sort of get ahead of everyone else. Don't try and maintain. For example, I am not fit as I, I'm not as fit as I want to be. I'm not in shape right now. It would make no sense for me to go out and train to maintain. I should be using this time, to go out and do extra extra sessions, put my foot on the throttle a bit more. So when it, you know, when football resumes and starts again. I can compete with people that have been maintaining and fit just for the last season, whatever. And I thought that's what everyone in my situation and similar should be, you know, trying to do in this time. I had a conversation on Instagram with Stefan um, Muller and, you know, very, very genuine person, and proper nice guy. Um, and he basically just gave me some tips and some advice about how to sort of approach my sort of like nutrition, how important it is and, um, you know, just sort of what I should be doing and just, just generally gave me some advice on, you know, trying to make it in a professional game and that it's not going to be an overnight process. Took a lot away. He Everything I asked him, he literally gave a long reply back, which I'm very appreciative of. You know, I can tell he took his time out to actually respond and read what I sent him. So I'm really appreciative of that. And um, yeah, you know, um, he knows his stuff, man. Let's go inside. I'm going to show you my sort of home gym equipment and what I'm working with. Obviously, I'm very lucky to have a decent amount of equipment, more than what some people 
have that, you know, play at a good level and stuff. So yeah, let's go inside. Got bench, um, obviously that's not how you should put your dumbbells, but I just got them there because I know they won't fall off because nobody really touches it. And um, yeah, it inclines. It doesn't decline, but it just is flat bench and, you know, uh, inclined. So I've got more plates here and some more under the, under the stairs. I've got, so that's right there's 10 kg. I'm not sure how much the bar weighs, but I'm guessing maybe like another one kilo. So that's like 11 kilos each side. I can probably get up to probably 17 kilos with all the weights I've got. So yeah, you know, can do shoulder press, bench, obviously flat bench, incline bench. And then, yeah, obviously got this stuff down here. Um, where should I start? So I've got a kettlebell which is good for like if you do kettlebell swings or like sort of there's a sort of lunge, reverse lunge I like to do with kettlebells. <clears throat> Obviously I've got a skipping rope just in case I want to go outside do a bit of skipping. And then I've got the, that push-ups, I don't know what they're actually called, push-up grips, I don't know what they are. And I've got two lighter dumbbells. I like to do my um, shoulder exercises though, so like the lateral raises, stuff like that, because that's a nice, those exercises they shouldn't be going too heavy hurt yourself so I like to go light and just rep out and obviously I've got that's the same with those so those two are used for those sort of exercises and then I've got a mat obviously I've got a football as well so if I'm doing like a core circuit or whatever I can use a ball instead of a actual um what's the word an actual medicine ball same purpose except for the medicine balls you know heavier once that gets too light I'll use a kettlebell if the kettlebell gets too light I can use a dumbbell and the most important piece of equipment, let me do a little drum on. Pull up bar. So I've got a pull up bar, a very sturdy pull up bar. This spins, you do that and it spins in and it's suction pad. This is not falling. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> You do not need this to carry on making gains and keep fit. I just have access to this stuff, so I'm definitely going to use it. So as I mentioned, I still was training in the last like six weeks. I haven't uploaded, you know, still doing my fitness, still doing my agility drills. Um, this is just a random drill that I did um, a couple of weeks ago. Also still working on my finishing, you know. Um, I haven't worked on my finishing that much, but still when I can, when I have a partner to feed me the ball, still working on that. Also my strength training, I was still hitting the gym. I actually started a new strength program, but that was basically short-lived as the coronavirus caused gyms to close. But I'll definitely jump back on that once this whole pandemic's over. This is from my last five-a-side game. Gave this guy some steps, put it through the gap, and obviously my boy finished it off. Nice little cheeky goal there. Here we switch teams. Good touch there. Bottom corner posting. Not saving that, are you? Not saving that. And here, um, I'm pretty sure. Fake shot. Fake. Bang. So I think it's safe to wrap up the video here. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, smash that subscribe button. Come on, let's try and get my channel to 500 subscribers before the end of quarantine. Yeah, if you do that, it'll mean a lot for me. And I promise I will pump out loads of content. From next week, what you can expect to sort of see is um, I want to show you my home workouts, like my meal prep and my sort of fitness and whatever I'm doing. I'm going to show you the whole program I'm going to follow. I basically, I'm in the middle of designing a program, which I'm going to basically follow for the next like eight to eight to 12 weeks, I think, or 10 to 12 weeks. And yeah, I'm going to show you all of that, share that with you lot. So if you want to do what I'm doing, you can do it as well. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a hood and a do-rag, my hair is a shambles. Obviously, barbers are closed right now. There is no way I can get a trim, and there's no way I'm showing my hair for the world to see. So, but as usual, it's been your boy Tarek TK. Thank you a lot for watching. I'll catch you next video. Bow. Remove the virus. Ain't seen nothing like this. Juju J in life flesh. You know me, I'm the livest. Call on all your rights.